Line. Well, meanwhile, at UCLA, they're responding to what was a night of raucous clashes on campus. The chancellor sent a message to students today promising more law enforcement and disciplinary action. Barriers that protesters use to block access to buildings have now been removed. Staff is located around Royce Quad to make sure it stays that way. NBC4's Robert Kavasik was at UCLA for us last night, and he joins us now with more on the changes since then. Robert. And we keep having changes, Carolyn. What you are looking at here is the side of Powell Library, now closed per UCLA. Powell Library across from, across from Royce Hall, now closed because of UCLA, with the large encampment between those two buildings. Here at the side of Powell Library is how you enter the encampment. What is going on here is really not clear at the moment, but we have a number of security guards from CSS Security, Apex Security, as well as UCLA Police. The Increased presence is definitely here, as UCLA said in a Bruin alert, as Chancellor Jean Block explained earlier today, that this will now be the case. There will be an increased presence of security to keep students safe, as well as now students possibly facing sanctions when it comes to this encampment. Again, what's going on here, we don't know. But I want to take you back to last night on the NBC4 News at 11 o'clock. We played you a phone call from a parent to UC. LA Police Department saying, my son can't get to class. UCLA Police Department said, we were told by the university not to intervene. Those were the quote from a dispatch or to that UCLA parent. An hour later, things changed dramatically and we were here. Take a look at what happened. <laughs> Just before midnight, a clash at the entrance at Powell Library. There was a pallets being used, pieces of cardboard being used as they tried to. There were Jewish demonstrators and pro-Israeli demonstrators who came to, they said, just trying to talk to those people who were inside the encampment. And then, and then the chaos just broke loose. And then, this is significant, we did see UCLA police intervene. And they did show up about 12.15, about 20 minutes after it started. Let's show you that video. This is UCLA police tactical gear coming in with their batons, separating the two parties and keeping those inside the encampment back. So we did then see UCLA police here. We also saw two LAPD patrol cars right before 1 a.m. driving by as well. LA police on this campus. They didn't get out of the patrol cars. But again, the understanding that things were unpredictable here, that things were starting to get more and more tense and more and more fractious. And that is where we are now. We are just hours, ladies, from when the first tent showed up here at UCLA on Wednesday morning. And now we have a large encampment that remains in place and surrounding this encampment right now besides security and police are those pro-Israeli demonstrators on the border here waiting to see what is going to happen next and that is what we're waiting for at this hour but again we the one thing that has really changed here is the increase in law enforcement. And Robert, we understand that all of this certainly impacting students who 